There are two separate families of CATS patents involved in the MDL case, the automated call processing patents and the teleconferencing patents. This tutorial DVD addresses the automated call processing patents. The automated call processing patents are directed to systems that process calls in an automated fashion for the purpose of conducting applications such as polls, auctions, lotteries, games, and contests by telephone. We are all familiar with telephones and placing telephone calls. When you pick up your phone and dial, you connect to a telephone network and the telephone network routes the call based on the number you dialed. The telephone network is called the PSTN, or the Public Switched Telephone Network. Most telephone numbers correspond to a particular line or location, like the phones at your home or office. Other telephone numbers are different in that they can be routed to many different phones at many different locations like, for example, a call center. A call center is simply a system to handle large numbers of telephone calls. When a call center receives your call, it not only receives the call itself, it also receives information about that call, Annie and Dennis. Annie and Dennis are services provided by the telephone network and crucial concepts in this case. Annie stands for Automatic Number Identification. You can think of Annie as a type of caller ID, except that it identifies the telephone number you are calling from. Dennis stands for the Dialed Number Identification Service. Dennis is a service provided by the telephone network that indicates the number dialed by the caller. There is no dispute that both Annie and Dennis were known and used long before the CATS patents. Now that we've discussed the basics of telephony, we will discuss the automated call processing technology used in call centers. As we discussed, a call center is simply a system used to handle a large number of calls, for example, 800 number calls. Almost every call center was and is built out of the same set of components, operators, databases, automatic call distributors, and response units each of which was well known before the CATS patents and each used in many different combinations. Importantly, all of these components are designed to work cooperatively with the others. While operators and databases are familiar, an automatic call distributor is a specialized piece of equipment unique to call centers. When a call center receives a large volume of calls, you need a way to distribute those calls within your call center. ACDs come with software intelligence. If an ACD has, for example, four different potential destinations for a call, it must determine which of those four destinations should receive the call. This distribution function is the primary function of an ACD. An response units are computers that provide greetings to callers such as thank you for calling our system, and prompts like press 1 for technical assistance. Response units have the ability to receive the The first real-world system that we will discuss is the Versatel home banking system that was developed in 1980 by Paraphonics, which later became part of Nortel. The Von Meister patent, among its other features, discloses Q suppression. Ractal defines cue suppression as the deliberate selected omission of an ARU prompt, instruction, or request for information. Welcome to the reference section of the Defendant's Call Processing Tutorial. 
In the reference section of Ractal's tutorial, Ractal highlighted 23 features allegedly disclosed in the CATS patents. These features are listed on the left of your screen. Some of these features, such as call setup, PSTN, and DTMF, are basic features of the telephone system and predate the CATS patents by decades. Other features, such as ARUs, ACDs, and operators, are the basic building blocks of call centers and were also well known more than a decade before the CATS patents. Additional features, such as Annie and Dennis, are services provided by the telephone network itself, and there is no dispute that these services were well known prior to the CATS patents. What is important to realize is that all of the 23 features Ractal highlighted as being disclosed by the CATS patents were well known in the art before the CATS patents. In the remainder of this reference section, we will discuss just a handful of exemplary prior art references, and we will demonstrate how each of these references discloses the same features that Ractal points to in the CATS patents. While we have selected only a handful of the many prior art references to review, the techniques disclosed in these prior art references were widely known and used in many wide-ranging applications. For example, the Moose-Miller article, which discusses the Conversant 1 system, could be implemented at the time to perform applications such as financial services and sales order entry, and was capable of supporting many different types of applications simultaneously. Another example, the Paraphonic Student Registration publication, identifies many other applications supported by the system, including admission status, financial aid status, ordering supplies, and job... Welcome to the reference section of the Defendant's Call Processing Tutorial.